I think it'll be Keir Starmer at this stage. There's no indication that the Tories have got what it takes to suddenly reverse what is a between an 18 and a 27 point lead uh, by the Labour Party. But uh, I think that lead will melt in the actual election campaign quite significantly. But that doesn't mean that the Tories will win. And what is it about these Conservatives, so many of whom are going to resign uh, come the next election, what is it about them uh, that makes them braced for defeat, as you uh, say in your, uh, in your column today? Well, I think that uh, many of them are tired, worn out. They've been in various jobs for the last 13 years. Uh, and I think they do sniff the possibility of years in opposition. I think they're mistaken because even if Labour wins the next election, it's going to be very, very difficult indeed for them to uh, bring forward the sort of reforms that Labour is promising and is known for. Its reputation is for all sorts of changes to the economic rules, the taxation system and so on. They haven't got any money to play with and so they're going to have a very difficult period in government. So the idea that the Tories are going to be out of uh, in the wilderness for many years to come is probably um, uh, overcooked. So we've now had another a Labour U-turn on the two-child benefit cap. Keir Starmer says now he won't um, scrap it despite the loud voices uh, raised in his own party. What, in your view, is Labour actually offering? That's the big question. I think that not only people who are dubious about Labour in any case, but even members of the Labour Party itself and some members of the Labour Party in Parliament and indeed in the shadow cabinet and in the trade union movement are asking all of the same questions. What exactly does Keir Starmer stand for firmly and decisively? And the answer is precious little. In fact, it's difficult to actually identify any policies on which he hasn't done very substantial U-turns and twists. And this is why some trade union leaders are dubbing him a, a shifty uh, politician. Well, I, th I think you, you've called him in your column is it a shifty, shifty Starmer. Is that, what, is that what you're calling him? But you say they, they have no, no vision. Um, they do have their, their five missions, uh, including securing um, uh, growth, uh, making Britain a, a clean energy a superpower, uh, of raising education standards, all of which sounds like good stuff. It does sound like good stuff. But where is the detail? How are they going to do these things? They're talking about growth as if you just wave a magic wand and you've got growth. It takes We've detail. seen how that kind of thinking, where that kind of thinking leads us. Yes, and I think that one day in the near future, they're going to have to say exactly how growth will come through Labour Party policies. But you wouldn't expect it now, would you? You wouldn't expect it now so far out from a general election. Well, I think that, yes, you would expect some sort of clues at any rate, and there are no clues simply because the economy is in a situation, not just here in Britain, but worldwide, where you simply cannot just spend money, which is Labour's traditional way of dealing with problems. There is no money to spend. As Liam Byrne said on the final day of the last Labour government, there is no money left. But economic responsibility is a big stick to wave, isn't it? And, and 13 years of this government have demonstrated that what happens when that is not happening. Well, all of that is true, and it's the reason why the Tory party is way behind in the polls. But there's nothing that the Labour Party is doing or saying that makes you believe or leads you to believe they've got the answers to it. Finally, we're, we're looking into the, the Selby by-election tonight. What do you think it will hinge on? Frankly, the Tories are unlikely to hold any of the three seats up for grabs on uh, in this by-election. and. Uh, by-elections, as everybody knows, are just a litmus test of the moment. They're like opinion polls. They only, they're snap views of the position at the moment. They are not an indicator of what's going to happen during the election campaign, during which the Labour Party and Keir Starmer in particular is going to be tested much more thoroughly on the promises that he's made and the promises he's broken. Good to talk to you. Thank you for uh, joining us here at Talk TV.